children are you ready to hear a story yes today i'm going to take you to a lake which is full of water do you know what who all lives in the lake look at it fishes big and small there are baby fishes the baby fish is called fry and can you see somebody else frogs big and small frogs the baby of the frog is called tadpole yes now water plants can you see it yes then can you see another animal moving can you see it yes that's the turtle the turtle moves with the help of flippers the fish moves with the help of fins the frog moves with the help of webbed feet and the turtle moves with the help of flippers yes the frogs and the fish lived happily but you know children the turtle was not very happy you know why because he had no friends sometimes you children are like that during the lockout you want to see your friends that is why you come to the online classes isn't it to see your friends face to talk to them you enjoy seeing it isn't it but this turtle didn't have any friends that's why he was very sad but one thing the turtle enjoyed was basking in the sun lying down in the sun he loved it one day when he was basking in the sun he saw two white birds flying towards the lake do you know the name of those birds yes cranes so he has never seen the cranes he was carefully looking at it he saw the cranes coming in and looking into the lake to see if there are fishes and they were fishing eating the fish turtle was admiring its long neck its beak its long thin legs it was how beautiful they are then suddenly the turtle saw these cranes standing on one leg not moving the turtle went close to it to see You know what they were doing? They were sleeping. The turtle was surprised. Do you sleep like that, children? No. You you don't stand and sleep. You go to bed to sleep, isn't it? Then the turtle saw the cranes dipping themselves in the water and cleaning their feathers with their beak and flapping their wings. to remove all the water just like you when you have your bath you scrub yourself and wipe yourself with a towel yes so the turtle loved the cranes very much and the cranes fished again took some fish and flew off you know for whom they were taking the fish they were taking the fish for their babies the baby of the crane is called chick Now the the turtle was going on admiring thinking of those cranes and saying how beautiful they are so he waited the next day to see whether these cranes would come sure enough these cranes came same way they were about to fish now the turtle said i want to make friends with this beautiful two cranes so he slowly swam towards it and he helped them to fish and slowly he became friends he loved the cranes dancing oh how beautifully they danced now the crane and the turtle became very good friends and you know how they entertained each other the crane danced for the turtle and the turtle played hide and seek you know how he withdrew himself and he came out he withdrew he came out he was playing hide and seek and the turtle liked it very much 
So they both were very good friends. Days became weeks, weeks became months, many months. One day when the cranes came to the lake, they were surprised. They could see the floor of the lake. They looked at each other. Then they went to Turtle and said, Turtle, we are sad, but we have to tell you, we have to go away. We have to go to another lake. Yes, in another forest. Turtle said, why? Because there are no fish. We have to feed our babies. Turtle felt very sad, don't leave me. I have no friends. You are my only friend, please. We can't take you. We fly with our wings. You have no wings. Doctor thought for some time. Then he said, Hey, cranes, you have a strong beak. You carry the fishes for your babies. Chick on your beak. Carry me also on your beak. The turtle, when he finished it, the crane looked at the turtle and said, Carry you? How can we carry you? So fat. When the crane said, Fat, the turtle felt very sad. He withdrew himself into the shell. He felt sad and shy. When somebody calls you name, you feel sad, don't you? Now this rains thought, oh, what I told was not correct. I shouldn't have spoken this. I shouldn't have told this naughty word. So they said sorry. The crane said sorry to turtle and flew away. He said, tomorrow we'll see you. Bye. And they went flew back. Now the turtle was going on thinking, I must go with the with these two cranes. They shouldn't leave me and go. I must go. So thinking, and you know children, there was a spark in his brain. He got a plan. So he thought of it and thought of it and was so excited. He waited for the next day. When the cranes came, he went towards the crane and said, Hey, I've got a plan. What plan? You have strong beaks. You get a strong stem. There are two of you. One hold one side of the branch. Another hold the other branch. And I will hold the center of the branch for the branch with my powerful jaws. When these cranes heard it, they flapped their wings. Wonderful idea, wonderful idea. And one crane flew to get a strong branch, to get a strong stick. He came back with a bamboo stick. You know children, have you seen a bamboo tree? Yes, the bamboo tree grows very tall. And the bamboo stems are very strong. You know why? Those bamboo trees take a long time to grow. They take many years to grow. That's why the stems are very strong. So the crane and the turtle rehearsed. The so cranes held the two sides and the, and the turtle uh, caught the center. They flew tree. They came down. They flew up. They came down. It is fantastic. So we'll come back tomorrow. So they caught some fish for their babies and two cranes flew away. That night two turtle didn't sleep. You know why children? Because he was very excited. I am going to go out of this lake. I've never gone out. I've never seen the world. Some of you must have traveled, isn't it? Some have traveled in bus. Some have traveled in cars. Some have traveled in trains. Some even have traveled in airplanes to see the other parts of the world, the other parts of our country. But this turtle had not flown, had not flown anywhere. He had not gone anywhere. He was excited. 
what all he's going to see. He was very excited. He didn't sleep. He was waiting for the dawn. The morning came. Waiting for the cranes. Fly. They came. The turtle came. Ready. Now the cranes looked at the turtle and said, Yes, we are all now ready. The stick is ready. We are also ready to carry you. But one warning. When we fly high, you're going to see the world. When you look down, you'll want to tell something to us. But if you open your mouth, that's the end of you. You will fall. We can't help you. We can't take you to that new place. When the turtle heard it, he thought for some time. Yes, I realize. Oh, there's danger there if I open my mouth. I promise you, I won't open my mouth. So the two cranes said, Well, you keep up your promise. Then you'll be happy and we'll be happy too. So they both, one, one crane this side, the other crane that side, and the turtle oh, held the, the, the stick tightly with his powerful jaws. One, two, three, and they flew up. They flew up and they were flying. The cool air blew when the turtle was so excited. Oh, so nice it is. He was looking up only, right? They told, don't look down. They were looking up. It's so beautiful. You're looking at the clouds. Looking at the top of the trees. It was flying. When they crossed a city, they heard some children. They were clapping. And the children were telling, Hey, look at those two cranes. So nice. They're carrying turtle and going. How clever the cranes are. What a wonderful plan they had to carry their friend. What did he say? Why are they praising the crane? It's my idea, my idea. Then he heard the honking of the bus, the cars. He enjoyed it. And now the crane flew into another city. Again he heard the, the children clapping their hands. And they were telling, they were going on praising the crane. Look how powerful the cranes are. What wonderful idea. Now the turtle couldn't bear it. He said, it's my idea. How can they praise the crane? They should praise me. And he forgot his promise. And he opened his mouth. He lost the grip and he fell down and down and down and the two cranes flew away. When he came down, he withdrew himself into the shell and he fell on his back. It did hurt for him, but he was hurt in his heart. He said, what a lovely trip I had, but I lost it because of my mouth. See, children, why did this, this turtle open his mouth? Why did he open his mouth? Because he heard those girls and boys, those children, praising the cranes for their idea. He thought, it is not their idea, it's my idea. I only worked it out. And as a result, he opened his mouth. See, that is jealousy, children. Don't tell up jealousy into your heart. When jealousy comes into your heart, you hurt yourself, not the others. Always think others are better than you. And when somebody praises others, let it be. It's their turn to get the praise. One day you will get your praise. So don't you ever think or harbor jealousy. Get rid of jealousy. Otherwise, it will harm you children. Jealousy will harm you. Love your friends. Love is not jealous. It is not boastful. It is not proud. Then you'll enjoy being with your friends. Children, now we are going to sing a funny turtle song. Just take your hand. Keep your hand over it. Squash your fingers. I have a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, ate up all the soup. 
Now he's home, sick in bed, with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop. I have a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, cluck, 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 ate up all the soap. Now he's home, sick in bed, with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop. I hope you enjoyed the story, children. Bye!